Second trimester abortion. Picture Samuel. Picture Samuel there on the inside who's getting ready to get a spinal surgery. Well, how'd they get a baby from the inside that's that developed? Well, we're going to walk through it. Again, they'd use the speculum to get access to the baby on the inside. And then they would use this instrument, again, the, the tenaculum, to grab the cervix. And then the cervix would be then dilated and opened up so that we can get access to the baby there on the inside. And once we have access to the baby there on the inside, then they would use an instrument like this. This is called a sofa forcep. You probably can't see it real well, but on this crushing forcep are rows of teeth on both sides. And just like a shark's teeth, these teeth all point backwards. So if I were to place my finger here in the sofa forcep, I can't pull my finger out because the more I pull, the more te the teeth grab into the inside. So what happens with a baby just like Samuel there on the inside after they opened up the cervix? They use an ultrasound so they can see where the baby is, what parts of the baby are there, and they guide this instrument up there on the inside. And then this instrument is used to grab an arm, grab a leg, grab the abdomen, and one piece at a time, the baby's brought out. The baby was alive on the inside. And boy, placing all these things on the inside, then they got the, the toughest part is really the baby's skull. And they would take this up to the baby's skull, you know, about the size of a kiwi or so. They would then crush it, and then they would bring it out. Um, and that's a second trimester abortion, y'all. You know, I, uh, I wasn't gonna talk about this, but uh, I saw Hillary Clinton yesterday describe me and a lot of you, you know, the ones who see the life within the womb, the ones who understand the biblical principles that this nation was founded on. And she called us deplorable. Called us deplorable for our thoughts and our feelings. You know, and the definition of deplorable is when something deserved, deserves to be condemned. You know, I've got news for her. This is deplorable. This is the definition of deplorable. I, I can't think of anything else that really defines something as deplorable as having an innocent baby on the inside and using an instrument like this to take them apart. But uh, yeah, y'all are not deplorable. The things that we stand for are not deplorable. People who do these procedures are deplorable. People who want legislation and fight for legislation within their party to be able to do these kind of procedures up until full term, those are deplorable. A party whose platform says that we need to fund this and we need to take the lives of these babies at over a million times a year, that is deplorable. Not for people like you who want to fight something like this. Y'all are good people and you're doing an honorable thing. but. That's another issue. All right, partial birth abortion. We've 